One of the questions we get quite a bit are what are the main species out in these native hay meadows? And uh, a good managed hay meadow is going to have a lot of the key prairie plants. The big four prairie plants are switchgrass, Indian grass, big blue stem, and little blue stem. Most hay meadows will not have much switchgrass because it elevates its growing point real early in the season and if it gets cut off it doesn't come back that well. In this meadow we've got the three main species, Indian grass, big blue stem, and little blue stem, and that provides the bulk of this hay production out here. This is Indian grass. This is also the state grass of Oklahoma. Usually when you're out in a meadow, the first thing you'll notice there'll be some really bright blue grasses in that meadow, and that's generally Indian grass. Most of the time it has a, a real pretty sky blue color to it, greenish blue. And one of the key indicators on big blue stem is from this bottom part down, it's got a lot of hair or fuzz on it. Uh, it'll be as tall as Indian grass, but it'll be very hairy at the base, and that's one of the ways you can tell the difference. Uh, they're both very, very productive in this hay meadow. Okay, little blue stem is a little different than the other three main prairie grasses in the fact that it's a bunch grass rather than a rhizominous grass. So it doesn't send out rhizomes, it just makes big clumps. And it's also a very productive grass, very high quality forage, makes really good hay. One of the things that's really important in, in a native hay meadow is to get out and take a look at it. Understand the plants that are out there. A lot of these plants that look like weeds or something really aren't at all. They're actually indicators of a very high quality meadow. Uh, herbicides have no place in a properly managed native meadow. Uh, these wildflowers that are kind of showy contribute very little to the forage production out here and so they're not hurting anything but they provide a lot of diversity for wildlife and other animals. And it's very important that you get out and learn a few of these plants. Uh, we have a really good plant ID book that you can get from our website that outlines these plants and tells you uh, quite a bit about them.